What's poppin' you guys? Today I got a vocal template for you guys. If you ever wanted to have a vocal template only using Wave plugins, one of you guys suggested that I do that type of video. So here you go. I have a vocal template in FL Studio only using Wave plugins. If you wanna download this template, there will be a link in the description where you can download this for free. There's two versions you can download. The paid version comes with all the effects and everything routed correctly. The free version is a stripped down version with everything routed correctly, but with only five effects coming from the full version. Let me just show you real quick this song that I edited in FL Studio. I recorded it in Pro Tools, but I edited the vocals into FL Studio. Just to show you guys it's possible, if you guys want your songs to be mixed by me, where I can go further into detail and make sure that it's edited correctly, there will be a link in the description as well. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So here goes a song that I mixed into FL Studio from Pro Tools. I made the beat. This is me rapping on it. I recorded the vocals myself. It's also out right now on iTunes, Spotify. There will be a link in the description if you want to hear the whole full song or you can click the card at the top right to hear the full song but let's just hear a little snippet real quick i was born a miracle yeah i'm not the typical yeah rich in the vision rich in the vision yeah. nigga get physical uh, yeah smoke my dish my brother's a criminal you niggas a pit Yeah, so that's the song that I did. Like I said, it's out right now. If you want to listen to it, link in the description for the full version. But let's just go ahead and jump into some of the effects that we use in the song to get it to sound like the way how it does. On the beat portion, there's literally nothing that we did. I already mixed the beat. Depending on the situation, maybe you feel like there's too much around a thousand hertz. Take that out if you want the vocals to shine a little bit more. If you feel like the beat is just too standing out too much, you know what I'm saying? So boom, but I didn't need to do that in this particular case. You know, keep note of that. Next. All right, so this is the hook right here. You can see I just used a de esser just to take out some of the harsh S's and stuff like that. You may need to edit this towards the particular vocalist. You know, to do that, me, I just personally hit this little S button right here and, you know, mute the beat, of course. Boom, and then you can listen to it. And then you can find, you know, where the sound is really, like, annoying at. You know what I'm saying? Just click and drag it down, drag it up you can find that sound. And then going back to audio and then you can hear the full thing. So next on the list is this compressor. Uh, I like this on vocals, especially like rap vocals and stuff like that. I basically started out with the vocal preset, you know, turn it up a little bit with some gain and then, you know, throw some threshold on it. So, you know, at some at some parts, it just turns it down a little bit. You know, when I get too loud. Next, I just used a little EQ on here. I also used like a, a Wave SSL EQ on here, but we'll get to that in a minute. This just a little, you know, just to sharpen it up a little bit. Next, Next, I know a lot of guys like like to put the sound good Elijah on vocals and stuff like that. Uh, me, I just want to play with it. You know, everybody has FL Studio. Well, if you have FL Studio, you have this plugin right here. So, you know, I just want to put it on there and just turn it down a little bit and it sounded really good. Next is this my favorite plugin for vocals. I would never mix vocals without it. I use this on all my vocals, you know, just to make sure it sounds good. Normally it'd be off, but hit the auto button, put a little roll on there and then bump it up a little bit. So like when you say your P's and your bees or just to give a little bit more presence to the vocal make it sound really good you know turn the speed all the way up just that make sure it has all the quality possible same thing with the verse track they they literally have the exact same effects with the ad libs same effects too almost but we have a pancake pancake effect which is pretty much just making sure the ad libs go left and right and stuff like that you don't want your ad libs staying in just on one side maybe you do you know this is a creative process um actually this plugin right here is free so I'll pretty much link this in the description too if you want to download this. Like I said, it's free. And then next, you know, all these tracks are pretty much being bust out to these tracks here. Uh, so my hook track is being bust out to here and you can see that by this little dial. Say like you want to um, dial this to another track, you know, you can just hit this right here and then boom, make sure, you know, that track is selected, whichever one you want it to go to a different one, you know. So yeah, my hook track is coming out to here. The, these aux tracks are going out to this track, okay? So make sure you guys are listening because this is kind of 
you know, kind of overboard a little bit, you know what I mean? But I like mixing this way because, you know, I, I literally have all these effects um, that I like to use, but I don't want to put them on every single last track, you know? If you're using a lot of different vocal tracks, you know, this can be overwhelming for your computer. So I don't want to do any of that. So here on the first aux track, I got the SSL channel right here. As far as like EQ of my vocals, you know, I like to take out a lot of mud. This is normally where I start, you know, I felt like when I first started, it had a lot of mud in there. So I dialed that in, found that, and then took it out. So next I boosted around, you know, 2K Hertz. Around 2K Hertz, you can really hear a lot of the vocals and hear what the person is saying. So I wanted to boost that a little bit so you can understand me a little bit clearly. Around here, I boosted the high ends a little bit just so, you know, it just sounded a little bit more crisp and clear. You know, boosted a little bit just right here in the low end just so it sounded more full you know what i'm saying you don't want your vocals sounding thin so i wanted to give it a little bit more body just a little bit more presence just a little bit of more you know in your face effect so that's what i did next i have my favorite compressor as far as vocals i always use this on vocals rather what program i use it don't matter if it's pro tools it don't matter if it's studio one it don't matter if it's this fl studio i always use this on vocals it just sounds the best as far as like putting it on an aux channel and stuff like that but boom i use this on the there and it sounds great next you know as far as like making the vocal sound good you know i, I really just tried to use minimum effects as, as possible so i went straight to a vintage exciter i love using this on my vocals so i started off by using uh this preset vocals and then the warm male preset and you know basically it just makes your vocal even more warmer it just adds some warmth to it normally it starts at like up to a six or seven i don't even know i just turned it down just to make sure it doesn't sound like it's too much warmness or whatever but then boom it sounded great and then next i threw another exciter on it by going to the load and going to the mastering preset and then going to crispy mix i like using this on my vocals just to like clean up some of the high end and just have a little bit more control you know what i'm saying because you know your highs can be good or bad you know but if you just have this little bit of control of them and to put them exactly how you want them they're going to sound great i did that on here and they sound a little bit more crisp when I use this. So you can adjust this like depending on if your vocals are too crispy, not sure what kind of microphone you guys are using. I have a Neumann TLA 103, but if your vocals are not crispy enough, you can turn this up a little bit and then your vocals will sound a lot more crisp. All these vocals are coming out towards this, this another channel, which is another aux. Um, and then, you know, it's just a few more effects on there. This is pretty much almost plug and play guys. All you gotta do is make sure your hook is going to, into this channel. Let me go ahead and name it too. So you guys hook in this channel make sure your verse is in this channel and then your ad libs your ad libs can go right here you can have more than one track guys you can make a, a 10 tracks all going into one channel and they should sound good and boom so i also added another track right here for your like your reverbs and stuff like that and it should be at a really good level as far as like having a reverb on your vocals and then i added another one just for like a, a small studio type effect you know what i'm saying just to make it sound like you know you're not just, just straight dry you know what i mean you don't want your vocals just straight dry so you know just added another just a little reverb on there turned it down the vocals sound great again if you want to hear this full song there there will be a link in the description where you can hear the full song hopefully this video was able to help you make great music rather you're a producer maybe you don't even rap or anything like that and you have an artist that you're working with you can plug this template in and you guys can pretty much be good to go as, as far as having a good sound and you know just be or a decent mix you know what i'm saying if you guys want your songs to be mixed by me or i can go further into detail and make sure that it's edited correctly there will be a link in the description as well where i can go ahead and do that for you guys let me know in the comments what other type of videos you guys want me to do i'll work on that hopefully you guys stay safe and remember it's only a matter of time peace